GHM TV. We'll be bringing you exclusive to We'll be bringing like um like behind the scenes of like so like, of like so like, so like how you create music and stuff like that. We'll be bringing you every fortnight about the exclusive behind. <laughs> I don't know. So let's catch up with one of our artists, Lorna D. Her story began when she was supporting Paloma Faith at the O2 Arena, and it just got better and better. So here we are at the Fusilier in Leamington Spa and I'm with Lana D. I am Lana D and I am an artist with Big Help Music. I do soul music, I write my own songs. Performing live is like, it's like oxygen for me. I, I love performing live. I think the, the interaction with the crowd is the best part. Um, and you also get some really important feedback when you do original songs, um, people will give you their feedback because people like to be involved and with regards to my new music I, I like to try it out on an audience, especially an audience I'm familiar with just because they're more receptive, they're more likely to give you their opinion and that opinion is valid because at the end of the day if if that opinion, if, if I don't use that opinion I'm not going to actually attract the people that I want to attract to my music. The best bit about performing live is introducing my songs and actually seeing people that have seen me perform live and know my songs, singing them back to me. That's the best part about singing live. That's the dream. What you got planned for this year? For this year, I've got some really exciting things going on. I am I'm writing with some incredible writers. And my new EP comes out on the 9th of February. Uh, it's available for pre-order now, so I'm really excited about that. I've worked really hard on it. Um, I've had a lot of musical influences and a lot of inspiration from working with different people, so it's all gone into that EP. Thank you. Thanks for having me. In every episode, we're going to have a behind-the-scenes chat with one of our artists. So here we are at Straw Hat Studio and we're with Saloni. Saloni, welcome to BHM TV. Hi. Tell us, what have you been doing this week? I've been working with Fred Cox for um, my new EP. We've been writing songs together and that was like a great uh, feeling and it was very good because it's something different. I'm usually a pop artist and this was a different kind of music and I quite liked it. You had a, a great success with your debut EP as we know, you got a number two. When you say this is different, how different? Well, my um, first EP had a lot of I wouldn't say childish pop, but it was like something that I was starting off with and a bit new for me. And it had a bit of a mix of some Indian stuff and um, my Western pop. But this one is more like something you can dance to and quite liked it, yeah, that's how different it was. <laughs> when you say different instruments and things, what gives it a sneaky idea? What, what instruments have been going into it? We used a lot of beat drops and a lot of clicks. Just what you'd hear maybe in like a rap but I'm not rapping, I'm singing. <laughs> when you write a song like this, do you, do you have to write it in advance? And, and then, you know, how, how does it work? I mean, I came with a few ideas of my own. Like, I did some of my own songwriting at home. And then when I came to Fred Cox, I gave him my ideas. I had like a verse and a chorus. And he was like, oh, I love your ideas. But then um, we thought we'd start afresh and bring some sort of new idea. And we started off from there, yeah. Um, I, on the outside of you, I could see that the piano was being used a lot. Is that unusual for you? Not really, because I was a keyboard player, so I used the piano a lot and the keyboard just to work things out slightly. But then from there, I kind of developed. Um, so when with my first EP, we started off with the piano, and then we went on to Pro Tools and stuff. Is that it, or is it still some more work for you to do? Oh, yeah, there's lots to do. I mean, music is a never-ending thing. It's always going. And it's something I really enjoy doing. Saloni, thank you so much for being with us today at BHM TV. Thank you. Let me tell you this. Everybody was so excited when Fred Cox joined the label. He comes here every month and works in the studio with our artists. They're making some great progress. Can't wait to hear the finished result. Wow! Fred. Yes. When you're working with a client, is this an essential part of your preparation? 
it's not essential, but I think it just, you know, adds to the general vibe and, you know, concentration and planking with people is just a you know, good, hilarious thing to bring people together. Fantastic. Yeah. So what, what's your ideal client? My ideal client is someone that loves to be in the studio, loves singing, loves collaborating, and, you know, a musician, I'd say. Just an inspired, creative person that wants to have a good day. What's the best way to make a hit record? Um, I've done it a thousand times before, I'd say. Yeah, there we go. So is there any formula? Is, is there, it, uh, have you got any top tips for artists at how to prepare to go into a studio to make a great record? I'd say more than anything, just have like a, an open mind and be down for just following what you both creatively want. Just have... You know, a few ideas, not necessarily, you know, melodies and lyrics or anything, but just, you know, kind of the, the vibe you're feeling for that day and just so you can, you know, lead it in the right direction. The best sessions I've been in is where, is where the artist has a real, you know, clear, creative vision for what they want. And you're like, oh, let's do that. Brilliant. You're doing really well on the plank, by the way. Oh, thank you. We've only got two questions left. Uh, uh, the penultimate question is in eight parts. <laughs> I know you've, you, you've had some fantastic successes so far. Have you got anything lined up for this year? What, what, what are your plans? Not creatively. I work with Mabel, who's coming up soon. He's a very dope artist I'm looking forward to working with. I'll be working again with Regan Bowman at some point, writing. Trying to get in with Lena Havis. I've got my new managers. And, um, you know, just some creative new opportunities. Well, can I just say thank you so much for being here with us at VHM TV. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, no worries. You can relax now. Go on, one more question. <laughs> one more question. <laughs> What's it like moving out of London for, for part of each month? Because, you know, you, normally you just go downstairs into your own studio. Um, why, why, why come up here to the Midlands? It's a lovely break. It's a lovely location. And I meet lots of lovely people and get to see you, Dutch. Fred Cox <sighs> from VHM TV, thank you so much. Oh, no worries. <laughs>
So you can see, it's, um, that was how the Got To Have You video was made. Well, thank you, Norma, for being here. We hope you like BHM TV. Now, we want to hear from you. What would you like to see in the programme? We would like to hear from you now. So comment here or write to us here. We're waiting to hear from you.